What's happening people? We are back for another week of the vlog. We've got a double training session today, some pitch work, some gym work. I'm gonna go down now and shift some tin and uh, get fucking massive. Done a heavy set of bench, one set of three, um, and then we're gonna do now, we're doing like eight sets of five reps, so it's a lot of volume. Um, and then in the last set, you're gonna do as many reps as you can. So a wee bit lighter for these sets, but it's just a lot of volume and a lot of pressing. <sighs> Championship got like finally announced, so our first, the games are the first weekend of August, and it's all um, group stages. So I think, correct me if I'm wrong here, four teams in the group, everybody goes through. You're seated, depending on where you finish in the group. And then it's knockout stages then, and then quarterfinals, semifinals. You're wrong. I'm wrong? Yeah. Okay. What, what is it? I thought it was for seniors. That was up front in the group. What are we then? Just no seating? No, the top. The winner of each group goes through, and then the best runner up goes through, and then the remaining eight teams. Alright, so it's completely wrong. They play each other in the playoff, okay. and then four go through. So, it's so four teams one in the group, group, first team goes straight to the quarterfinals? Yeah, and then the best runner up out of the, other, out of the three groups gets one runner up. Right. So they go through as well, so it's four through. Uh huh. And then, play, then the other eight play a playoff game, and then the four winners then. Join the other four in the quarterfinals, and then it's just quarterfinals, semi-final, final. And of the other three teams who go through, is that open draw, um, or is that seeded as well? I don't. Whenever the, I think it must be the three winners and the best runner up will follow yeah. in one pot, and they play the mm -hmm. one of the teams in the cup one playoff. I imagine. Aye. Probably good though. Plenty of games. <laughs> push-up and then two and two, three and three all the way up to ten to do it for time so we both put the time by near enough by about 30 seconds it amounts in two minutes 25 so I'll do that. Good upper body session done there and um, going to get some breakfast in the night we've got some eggs so that's four eggs that's some porridge I just haven't mixed around the uh, protein in it yet. Um, so I'm, a couple of, so I'm working for a couple of hours now and then at around 3 o'clock, it's now 20 past 8, I'm going to do some running and a bit of a pit session so I'm going to get plenty of food in between now and then. Um, got a couple of hours of work too so I need to try and maximise this time now and get plenty of food in. Uh, mix some double rich chocolate protein and some Biscoff spread. Try it. Build up the courage to go, do you know what? I'm gonna make that call in, you yeah. know. Um, so it's, it's it's a tough one, like you know, for such a small place, really, in terms of um, population size. Yes. Sorry, you know, the the, the amount of suicides is, is crazy. It's sad, like you know, it's that's something that hopefully over time 
you know, even with people saying about the coronavirus pandemic, um, you know, that there, there could be another pandemic on the back of it on, in terms of people's mental health. So, so I just finished up recording a podcast with um, Chris Kerr from Antrim. He has an Instagram page called Head Health Matters. Um, chat a lot about mental health, a little bit Gaelic and just football in general, but a lot about mental health and it was brilliant. Um, so hopefully it'll be out the same time this is on the GA and Gym podcast. I'm now going um, to do a wee bit of running and a wee bit of skill work just down the pitch. This is going to be a wee bit of conditioning work. So um, let's do it. Okay, so for the session, I'm just going to do a wee bit of sprint work to start. And then um, I'm going to get into some condition work, just some of the tempo runs that I've done before. So the sprint work, we're just going to work in distances from 10 meters up to 20 meters. I'm going to maybe do a wee bit of um, like lateral sprinting, so not change of direction, but just um, side to side as opposed to just forward, but I'm going to do some forward as well. And then I'm um, going to do conditioning, but the way I'm going to work it is I'm going to do runs. And after every run, um, I'm going to do like basically a shot on goal. So trying to kind of train shooting whenever you're a wee bit fucked um, and just training the skill under more pressure. But I also don't have a ton of time. I've only really got about, you know, 40 minutes here. So I'm trying to condense them both together. Um, and I've also only got one football because my organization skills are poor. Session complete. That was very tough. Um, the shots in between the tempos were were challenging because you were nearly working for the entirety of the time. But it's a great way to make use of your recovery time. Kind of practice the skill under a bit of fatigue. So it was good, but it made the workout really tough. I was just uh, tracking it on my watch, and uh, so it was 35 minutes in total. 2.66k. That's taking the account walking about. Um, so I was happy with that, it's good. This is kind of more the easier work out of the week, so it's a bit less mileage, it's only like 1200 meters of tempos. And then the next session week will be a bit higher. But the important thing is in week one or week two, just getting back at it. Don't like rush yourself and think you have to do a pile of running. Ease yourself in, there's still plenty of time before this all kicks off, so go piece by piece at it. <sighs> So oh, made up we post workout check there. Great option for like after a workout, you know, especially one in this weather where you don't want to like eat a big feed and you maybe just want to be snack before you're having dinner. You know, maybe like later on. It's usually like protein shake and um a bit of fruit. So I've actually combined them both together. So I blended up some frozen blueberries um, with some almond milk and a wee bit of protein. So you're getting a good amount of carbs in it, which is good just for the post-workout recovery and obviously the protein. But the frozen blueberries make it nice and cool on a hot summer's day. Nice and refreshing. And then it's easy to get down here rather than eating a big meal. So, good post-workout option. Got quite an interesting flavour bomb flavor bomb going on here because the fruit is obviously blueberries. The protein is chocolate, which is strange enough on itself. But also, the last thing I used the blender for was making cocktails. So it kind of tastes like a blueberry chocolatey sex in the beach. Good combo. So basically the training plan for the next while is actually pretty um, simple. For the next like three or four weeks I'm just kind of focusing more on like general strength. Um, nothing too specific in terms of like um, power programming or any kind of fucking term like that. Just general strength and um, you know, a lot of reps probably from 
five up to eight or ten as we get closer to the season it's going to probably come a wee bit more specific so it'll be a wee bit more kind of power work a lot more um ballistic sort of type training with a wee bit more strength maintenance but for the next three or four weeks it's going to be you know those kind of five to ten rep ranges all about compound movements and just trying to progress them each week and then in terms of fitness work just gonna be working on like aerobic fitness um, and one thing the way I'm conscious of working on um, which I haven't been and I'd say most people haven't been is uh, skill work uh, just down today doing a wee bit like I was thinking I haven't done enough of this but obviously it's difficult when you can't go down to the pitches but um, getting a lot more skill work in over the next while because you know obviously I focus a lot on the fitness side of things because that's what I do but um, ultimately if you can't kick the ball over the bar you're not going to be worth very fucking much in the pitch so I need to practice more of that over the next while yeah that's another day of the vlog hope you enjoyed um, that podcast should be out whenever I'm putting this in the GA and Gym podcast um, it's on Spotify probably on YouTube and all that shit so good luck